beloved welcome welcome to my diary i'm tatami and today i would love to just try and spit out some of my thoughts on this whole jimmy Dore asking aoc to pressure nancy pelosi by withholding the progressive democrat vote so that pelosi will feel pressured to bring medicare for all to a vote and try and see if it will pass which there's a good chance it won't pass but definitely during a pandemic we should be trying for this some may, some are arguing and some are arguing that since it won't pass it's a waste of time it's a waste of that vote it should be pressured for something else aoc is mentioning pressuring for things that the other side has already kind of said that they would do anyway so i'm not quite sure why you know 15 dollars minimum wage i'm pretty sure biden even said that like it, i don't know why we would pressure for that but that there's this whole thing going down and uh, everybody's chosen a side i've chosen a side i'm i'm with jimmy i'm with jimmy door i'm like dude jimmy i don't care if you stayed up all night trying to think of crazy ass shit to get more views here on youtube if that's the type of ideas you're gonna get up with that night full steam ahead please have these brainstorming sessions every night this is exactly the type of stuff we need probably the best idea he's ever put forth on the platform that's just my opinion though right we have people legitimate progressives in the community who at the mere sound of jimmy Dore's name or voice they are like feathers ruffled they don't want to even hear it they don't want to entertain it and then there is also the kind of take sides part there's the part where some people they, they've earned a little bit more of those nice points. So when they say they want to do something, they'll have people behind them supporting them. Even if the people don't totally agree with them or they think there could be another way, they're going to be supported. This is not unusual. It's not unusual to have this huge of a, of a sweep among the community, right? It's, it's, uh, this spectrum of people who who believe all sorts of different things but all ultimately believe in healthcare for all for all this is not unusual but you would think it was the end of the earth the way a lot of these people are speaking i've seen not just one i've seen several comments that try to paint tyt anna emma i want to say benjamin a few others as like secret MAGA conservatives, secret corporatists, people who really never were fighting for the common man in the first place. And I just think that this type of thinking is just as absurd as it gets. First of all, there's this idea that we all know perfectly best when we're already arguing that we don't all know perfectly best, right? Jimmy Dore is the perfect example of this. Sometimes he has great ideas. Sometimes he is kind of a detriment. He's kind of always throwing bombs, you know, throwing little fireballs, like one of those characters in a video game. And it just kind of wantonly happens. And sometimes it's like a good one and it hits where it's supposed to. And sometimes it kind of hurts the home team. Um, and that's a very honest way to describe a lot of what he does. It, it, his comment section kind of proves this because it's this cesspool of diehard progressives, but also it's become like MAGA playground over the last year. There's just this huge duality. So it's not surprising that there are people who just don't want to hear his ideas Am I with those people? No, I'm like, we we need to be focused. We need to focus on the fact that there really isn't a relationship between progressive Democrats and corporate Democrats in the House. There's not a good relationship there. They are shitting on us constantly, shitting on anybody progressive by any means. We just saw it like last week. AOC did all this to help Biden get elected. She even broke Twitch records for a president she doesn't even believe in. And they still didn't even pretend to kind of want to give her a spot on a committee. She was like landslide voted no out of there and it was given to somebody else. I think like that should be a real huge sign that indeed we shouldn't be playing nice because it's never going to be nice. We're always going to be held at arm's length when one step two steps as many steps as they can keep us behind so i don't think that you know this idea that we have to keep playing games is reasonable i also totally disagree with this idea that because they will say no we shouldn't even ask we shouldn't even try right now especially during a time where we actually it's as relevant as ever we actually have sick people who 
it's spreading. We all need health care, right? If the, if the, you know, women's votes, civil rights, slavery, there were a lot of things that were, they were trying to push it in. And it was because it just kept getting slapped down that people started taking to the streets. People started passing out pamphlets and making art and talking with each other, hosting meetings, protesting, doing forms of civil disobedience. It, it was like the year after they rejected the women's rights to vote that it became such a big deal in the streets that they went ahead and, and did it. They It was like a year later. So, so I really disagree with this idea that there's just no reason to ask. But I also really disagree with this idea that because someone doesn't agree with you, because someone doesn't see eye to eye with you on certain facts, because somebody is right or dying for AOC, which I mean, like we've seen a lot of people ride or die for like Tulsi. We've seen people ride or die for like Bernie. Um, and and oh, Bernie is another one. Like we're we're seeing this with TYT. Everybody's like they're a sellout. They're corporate. I seen that with Bernie too. And I was like, damn y'all, like he would have had to literally croak and die for y'all before you gave him credit for how much time, effort, and part of parts of his life, life energy he put into this movement. Like we're gonna just fake that, like all those amendments, all those years, all those arguments, uh speeches, filibuster. We're gonna pretend like that wasn't anything because towards the end. He was so overwhelmed and surrounded, so undercut and used and tired that he decided for the safety of himself and the safety of this situation, especially considering what was all going on, he decided weighing everything he knew to not continue and to just finish out the rest of his life as like a senator. It's really crazy to me because people are now like he's he's sold out. He blah, blah, blah. And it's like, damn, dude, this man is ancient. How many more years should he have put in? What At what point, at what point when his heart just gave out, that's the only time when y'all were going to even give him props or kudos, credit, anything? I just, I don't know, y'all. I think we're we're trying to cut it off, so cutting our circle smaller and smaller. And I've been there politically, you know. I remember when I was like 18 to like, I don't know, 25, and I was just RBG. I was just Pan-African. I was just like focused on on this specific race issue and the Pan-African issue. And then I had kids and I experienced being a black woman in a, a hospital. And I realized like, God damn, I have to I have to be fighting for women too. And I gotta be fighting for non-binary people. I've gotta be fighting for all of these uh, people out here who don't fall within like special spectrums because it impacts me because of people I know, but also because I became a birth worker and I started working with all these people. So in my, my political spectrum grew, you know, the more I volunteered, the more work I saw was to be done. And I'm just not sure I completely understand how people can see this work to be done and just be like, that's it. Got to cut you off too. Got to cut you off too. So then the only people you're ever going to be listening to and connecting with are like other tiny YouTubers who occasionally upload on YouTube or comment on YouTube, it just gets scary, you know? I, I feel like sometimes we're cutting off our own resources and it's like, dude, they, I, that did not need amputation. That needed stitches and some fucking salve. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that whole thing made sense I'm saying there, but I feel like we're amputating things that don't need to be amputated. It could just be addressed and fixed, you know? Even if you walk them with a little bit of a limp afterwards, I think that's better than cutting off the whole leg at the hip for a rolled ankle. Okay, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm sure we'll talk about this again in the future. May your ancestors and spirit guides be with you at every crossroads, and I will see you next time.